So many John guys, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. This is chapter 205, and when we last left, last left off, we were in Laconia over here. Okay, that wasn't my intended. There we go. We were in Laconia over here. We have uh, this quest here, Treasure of Legends, helping out the Spartan people. And uh, then we'll see where we are from there after that. Um, nothing new or exciting to tell you. I don't have to change the outfit yet, or rather, I'm not going to change the outfit just yet. So, yeah, let's just jump into it here and see where we uh, end up. You are the eagle bearer. Wonderful. Magistrate Xanthi has spoken highly of you. Very kind of her. So here's the thing. My children have promising futures, but they refuse to learn and study. They think they know better, but they can't recite a poem to save their lives. Where do I fit into this? They've heard of the Eagle Bearer and worship the ground you walk on. If you related an epic story to them, I'd bet they retain it and impress their tutors. It's an odd request, but I've been asked to do stranger things. I'll do it. My children are waiting inside the Temple of the Onisus Colonatas for today's epic story. The subject is Perseus, which they should know well, but seem to forget all when questioned. <laughs> I know this story well, of course, but my preferred version may not be what your children expect. Do not fear. If you need a reminder, there are many relics related to Perseus in the hall adjacent to the Temple of the Onesus Colonatas. Good to know. Treasure, Treasury of Legends. Having kind of coughing fit or something. Something stuck in my throat, apparently. Uh, okay, so we have to talk to the children about Perseus. Tributes to Perseus are in the Temple of Dionysius Colantia. Um, we're going to look at just because, but I'm almost positive I know this story. Limpian Discus of Perseus, his adventures done and newly married Perseus returned to Argos and took part in honored games. He threw the discus, it soared as far and so fast... Uh, it flew into the stands and killed King Arcosius by mistake, fulfilling the Oracle's prophecy. Sickle of Hermes, Hermes keeper of the flocks and ram bearer, gave this shining sickle to Perseus on command of Zeus Most High. Statue of Zeus, when King Arcosius heard a prophecy stating one day his grandson would kill him, he locked his unwed daughter in a room of bronze. Zeus saw her, fell in love with her uh, beauty, and took the form of a divine golden rain to visit her, visit with her. That's a golden rain, right? Yeah. Fishnet of Perseus. Perseus and his mother, uh, Dene, were found and rescued by the fisherman Dictes. Perseus was raised by him and taught to fish and hunt and ride. This is the fishnet he used to trap fish, uh, mollusks, and other sea creatures. I mean to jump on that. Wooden debris from Argos, a piece of debris from a wooden crate. King Arcosius forced his daughter and her baby into the box and had the crate cast into the wild sea, for he knew if he killed them directly, he would earn the wrath of Zeus. We're on shield. Perseus was given a mere bright shield from Athenian protector on the command of Zeus Most High. Perseus could safely face the Gorgon Medusa without turning uh, to stone by looking at a reflection only in the shield. Yeah, I know pretty much all of this information, but it's good to brush up. Um, let's see here. Hello, I'm the Eagle Banner. We've heard all about you. Are you going to tell us a story today? Do we have to listen? We've carried it a hundred times. Yes, that's me. And yes, I'm telling you a story. Let us sing with the voice of the gods about the exploits of brave Perseus and the noble Pegasus. Acrisius, the king of Argos, was not a good man. He had one child, a daughter, Danae. Bitter that he had no son, he went to the Oracle of Delphi and heard a prophecy that chilled him. Ooh, what was it? The Oracle said Acrisius would be killed by his grandson, but Danae was unmarried and childless at the time. To protect himself, 
He locked the Nai in a bronze room, open only to the sky. Ooh. However, mighty Zeus saw the girl and fell in love with her. He transformed into a golden shower and seduced her. The Nai gave birth to a son, Perseus. I knew it. King Acrisius couldn't kill the boy for fear of angering Zeus. So he put his daughter and grandson in a wooden crate and tossed them into the wild sea to be drowned. How horrid! Poor Perseus! Perseus and his mother, Danae, were rescued on the island of Seriphos, and Perseus grew up under the care of a kindly fisherman, Victis. Lucky them! Did the gods help? Maybe. Perseus learned to swim and ride and fight, and how to be good and just, even though his father was only a fisherman. I can do all those things, too! Yeah, good for you. Except swim, or be just. Hush. Now, Victis' brother was ruler of the island, but he was not a good man. He's scum. This wasn't in the museum. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think he sees Andromeda. When Perseus grows up, he travels to Iopi and falls in love at first sight with the beautiful princess Andromeda. However, Andromeda's mother boasts that her daughter is more beautiful than the goddess Thetis, offending her. Never say you are better than the gods. Thetis proclaims that Andromeda must be sacrificed to the gods, or else the whole city of Iopi will be destroyed. I don't think that's right. Wasn't Andromeda an Ethiopian princess? Hush! Perseus asks his grandmother, Tala, how to save his love. She turns into a manta ray and says, to save Andromeda, he must bring back curly hair of gold, fit for the king of the mountains, who yet owns less than the humblest Ilot. I don't know that riddle. It's too hard! Uh, it was hard for Perseus, too, but... Eventually, he figured it out. I fucked that one up. He just did his all. Polydectes told Perseus to bring back the head of Medusa, the Gorgon whose gaze could turn anyone who looked into her eyes to stone. Ah! Polydectes knew that Medusa would be Perseus' death. That stinker! But the evil king did not know Perseus was favored by the gods. Hermes gifted Perseus with winged sandals and a silver sickle, and Athena gave him a bronze shield polished mirror bright. Perseus flew to Medusa's lair and used the shield to watch her reflection. He cut off her head with the sickle of Hermes. As she died, the winged foal Pegasus sprung from her neck. Yes! Flying home. Perseus found the maiden Andromeda, chained on the Ethiopian cliffs, waiting to be sacrificed to the baby. See, I knew I was right, kind of. Ketos. Perseus used Medusa's head to turn Ketos to stone, rescued Andromeda, and married her. Take that, Ketos! Perseus returned home to find King Polydectes relentlessly pursuing the Nai. They quarreled, and Perseus showed the king his wedding gift. When he saw Medusa's head, Polydectes turned to stone. Yes! Perseus traveled to Argos with his family, and one day competed in the great athletic games. He hurled the discus, and his throw was so great that it shot into the stands and struck King Acrisius. So doing, Perseus killed his grandfather and fulfilled the prophecy. You can't escape your fate. In the end, Perseus and Andromeda settled in Mykine as king and queen, and had seven sons and two daughters, the Perside. That was a great telling of the tale. I'll never forget it. Maybe the best. I can't wait to tell all my friends. I only made up a little bit. Ah, thank you. I couldn't help overhearing the end of your story. 
truly inspiring, Eagle Bearer. Thank you. Well, that wasn't too bad. I knew he met Andromeda, but I didn't think it was like right then and there. And I, I should have used more context clues to figure that out because obviously it didn't really fit. But end of the day, talk to Xanthi. Uh, I might as well just run there. Fast travel is not going to really make it any faster. <clears throat> but yes. Um, if you've seen, uh, what is it? Clash of the Titans. Uh, basically that's Perseus' story. Obviously it's a little, uh, well, embellished was the word I was thinking of, but not, not so much, but I guess it is. Um, I was going to say it's a little, little different. Um, a couple different ways here and there, but yeah, overall, I mean, that's the story of, uh, Perseus. Funny enough, I still haven't seen Wrath of the Titans, which I really wanted to, and I really still do. I just never had the chance. I should watch that one day. Oh, there's some Athenians fighting some Spartans down there. So Athenians are deep into Spartan territory. What the hell? <clears throat> they know where they are. They're in Laconia. <laughs> I don't know too much uh, Greek history. Um, obviously, I know like 300 in the Spartans because that's classic. Perseus, Perseus, uh, Ulysses, obviously, because that's another classic too. It's about the extent of my knowledge. I know the base gods. All right, let's see what she says. Thank you for aiding all of us in Pitana. Stories of you will live amongst us for many years. I help where I can, but thank you. A reward for all your help. That cheeky smile. Ranger's Blade, 1600 Drachmi, end of the day. Some good experience. I don't see anything else in Laconia, so I think we're done here. Uh, where did I want to go? Nexos. Hey, what happened to the quest that was supposed to be there? I know there was a quest over here. <clears throat> the fuck? <laughs> I couldn't see it being tied to Laconia. But maybe it was. Maybe it was one or the other, but not both. The game loves doing some cheeky shit like that. <clears throat> well, loves is a strong word. I mean, it does do some stuff like that on occasion. I'm just going to take a quick scan, obviously, of the map here. Because I know there was another quest on uh, Nexus, but I don't see it now. <clears throat> oh, okay, it's still there. It's hidden behind. Excuse me. I was hidden behind the bounty board. That makes more sense because I was going to say there's no reason it should should have disappeared. Get over there. Our coast of Calif uh, California. Jesus. Kefalonia. I don't know why I say it like that all the time. California. California. -A. I'm kidding. <clears throat> Anyways, though. Let me go see what this quest is. His work is everywhere. Their dislike is as clear as water. 
answer with a weapon. Then there will be no backtalk. You have to think before you act. This is politics. However tempting it is to act on instinct. This rebel obviously wants attention. Someone should give it to them. I had a similar thought. And I think that someone could be you. Tell me where they are and I'll put an end to this. See the pigment of the paint. It's a rare color, and I only know one artist who chooses to use it. Last I heard, he lives in a cave at the Rutsuna waterfall. I'll stop them. We cannot answer their threats with violence of our own. That will add more fuel to the fire. <sighs> if that's what you want. It is what she wants. Finicus wants to fight for the people, not against them. Just stop them making any more art. If you consider this... Art. The writing's on the wall. Investigate the graffiti. Look out for groups of people observing the graffiti. What can be learned from them? This <coughs> from whatever wrote this message. I'll take it to the art merchant. I don't get it. Am I just supposed to wait here or? Oh, there's more over here. This color looks strange. I should ask the art merchant where the artist could have got it. I don't know what I'm looking for is the uh, the issue here. <clears throat> Some things to ask you. Go on. It's the slow season. I found these rock fragments near the graffiti. Do you recognize them? That, my friend, is emery. Used for various artistic endeavors. Won't give the pottery as good of a shine in that state, though. Emery? The rock? Is it found on Naxos? It's mined from the Rotsuna waterfall. This pigment is only used in the graffiti. Has anyone been buying this from you? Hmm. I do remember a man asking about this color now that you mention it. Just him? Yes, from what I remember. I didn't have any when he asked. He seemed impatient and asked if anyone else sold it. Thank you. Neroso. Maybe you'll buy something next time. What's the other piece I'm missing? <laughs> I, I don't understand. Like, I, I don't know what I'm missing. And the game's not helping me at this point. <clears throat> and the investigation area is literally only in this one spot. Anytime you want to help me, game. <laughs> Ben. 
I have no idea. I'm completely fucking lost. <clears throat> Obviously, there's more graffiti somewhere, but where? About to pass it to nighttime so I can at least see the little icon better. Try passing it to nighttime and seeing if I can at least see what I'm trying to find. So I've literally ran around here nine or ten times. I'm here for five minutes and I can't tell what the fuck it is I'm trying to find. Yeah, see, I didn't know there was one over here. There's some bitch. Maybe from the brush the artist used. I better ask Agelos. I have some things to ask. Go on. It's the slow season. I found this hair stuck in the paint of the graffiti. Does it mean anything to you? Many artists here on Naxos use wild animal hairs to form the bristles of their paintbrushes. What animal is this hair from? It's too long to be a deer. I've heard that some thrill seekers like to get hairs from the bears that live on the island. They're mad if you ask me, but artists are an unusual sort. Thank you. Rosso. Maybe you'll buy something next time. One second.
Sorry about that. <sighs> Anyways, um... Find and deal with the artist. The artist creates his art somewhere on Naxos. The cave is located in southeast Aradin's fate. The hair found points to the bear dens at Bear's Den at Lutsuna Waterfall. <clears throat> Let's fast travel over here and just run over. The guy already told us that this person lives in the waterfall, so I don't know why we had to do some Sherlocking. There's that artist. <clears throat> Found you. I remember coming here a long time ago. <laughs> How the fuck did I miss that? I was literally beside the fucking bear. This game is so bullshit sometimes with that fucking hit detection on animals. The air is just going to magically appear once I start to leave? Is that what's going on here? Is there a separate cave? Yes, there is. sent me to find and stop the artist. You? You're here to kill me. That's up to you. Please, Mistios. Finicas is a great leader. Tell her I said that. And just a hand, not a mind. Tell me why you did it. I was commissioned. A contract from soldiers. They have power. You try to find people like that. I would. I'm not spineless. Mistios, I'm a poor artist. The Archon promised Rachmi I've never dreamed of. And look where it got you. I'll stop now, I promise. Not another word. If you don't, you'll make an easy kill. No more graffiti, I promise. Here, my contract. See for yourself. We're finished here. You won't hear from me again. Who of the muses? Didn't even need to fight that bear, but... I ended up doing so. This island is its own little little place. I don't see any other quest markers right now. I do want to check out that contract. If I actually got it. 